Just a few kilometers down there, the Russians are in charge. This checkpoint is the only place in Ukraine where people can move between the two worlds. This man is the first to leave Russian occupation today. He tells us he hung on as long as he could, but now he's going to join his wife in western Ukraine. Crossing this line is very unpleasant for everyone. There was just no road. Everyone is scared. It was more like sailing than driving. Look at my car. More cars arrive and everyone waits for the police to escort them to the registration center. An old Lada doesn't quite make it to the checkpoint. But it's done the most important thing. Two women join forces to get their mothers out of the Russian-controlled area. At first, my mom didn't want to leave. We all thought this would somehow end soon, but it's not ending. And now the winter is coming. She just couldn't be there on her own. When your soul hurts so much, you can't even sleep anymore. She's the most precious thing I have left. While Oksana takes a look at the engine, her friend Alessia tells us of their horror road trip. Fighting had wrecked so many roads and bridges, those who were leaving had to pick their way through farmland. We just cried when we saw how everything was destroyed. Afterwards, we just sat in the car and looked in silence. Oksana has worked a miracle on her car and they joined the convoy heading for the registration center. They arrive, it's warm and there's tea. The women realize the worst is behind them. I'm really happy now. I'm glad that I could bring my mother to a safer place and that we got here in one piece. It's been very hard, you know. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. They have people to stay with here tonight. The plan for tomorrow is to leave the Lada and take a train west.